After you create a schedule, you will likely want to sort and group it in various ways. With the schedule open, scroll down in the Properties palette to the Other section. Next to Sorting Grouping, click Edit, and this opens the Sorting Grouping tab of the Schedule Properties dialog. There are several options here to sort and group the schedule. To begin, I want to focus your attention to the option at the very bottom. Itemize every instance. When this option is selected, then every single instance of the scheduled category will appear in the schedule. If you deselect it, then it will it will just be sorted and grouped based on the options that you select above. And they, those kind of work together. For example, let me leave itemize every instance selected for now. And then under sort by, I will select size and then click OK. Now when I do, every single instance still appears in the schedule and now it's simply sorted based off of the size parameter. So now we have our smallest conduit listed at the top and the largest at the bottom in terms of the diameter. All right, I'm going to click Edit next to Sorting Grouping again. And uh, just to kind of continue on here with some of these sort by options, we sorted by size and we also had ascending selected. So we had our smallest conduit at the top, but you could select descending as well if you wanted to flip that around. You can also add a header and a footer to then group based on the whatever selected here for sort by. So in this case, the size. So for example, I'll select footer and don't worry about this for now and click OK. And now you can see that there are groupings that have been added to the schedule and that the groupings are based on the size. All right, let me click edit next to sorting grouping again. And you can see here that it displays the size parameter and then the count. So in this case, we have eight one and a half inch conduits. And that's because here, this option right here, you can choose uh, several options. Title, count, and totals is the default, uh, but you can select one of these other options as well. And there are some some other things that you can do here. But for now, let's just focus on the basics. Um, lastly here, blank line, if I select that and click OK, it simply adds a blank, blank line in between each grouping here. All right, let's go back to the sorting grouping tab. And I'm going to leave all these sort by options the same for right now. And then I'm going to deselect itemize every instance and click OK. And when I do, you can now see that the schedule looks significantly different. And so basically what happened is that since we are not itemizing by every instance, meaning that every instance does not appear, then the schedule is reduced to whatever we're sorting by, which in this case is the size. So as you can see, there's not a ton of value in this schedule right now because the family and type, it varies uh, because we have multiple families and types for each size as well as multiple lengths. So um, it, yeah, anyways, as you can see, itemize every instance will show every instance and then it'll sort based on whatever you have selected. So if you're not itemizing every instance, you really want to pay attention to then how you are sorting and grouping. So let's go back here and let's change this first sort by option to family and type. And then in the then by field, let's select size. All right. So since we are not itemizing every instance, we, we probably want to sort by multiple fields here or multiple parameters. So let me click OK. And now you can see that this schedule looks a little more a little more informative in that now we have the family and type and then the size. And then here at the bottom, we have the total number of elements for the family and type. So let's go back to the sorting grouping tab one more time. 
And let's say, let's change this footer. So let's remove the footer here and remove the blank line. And let's change that to under the size option here. So I'm going to select footer under size and then blank line. And then I'll click OK. Now we have even more groupings added here. So now we're separating out the based on the size parameter. And we were first sorting based off of the family and type. So now you can see the family and type along with the size and then the number here for that grouping and, and continue on here. So now this is something that you'd probably want to see in a project, right? The uh, sort it based on the family and type and then separate it out by size to see how many you have of, of each of those. The length parameters here are still set to varies because it's all being condensed down and that length parameter varies from uh, uh, from those groupings. Let's go back to the sorting grouping tab one more time and let's take a, a look. So just a couple notes here. You probably would not want to sort by, or sorry, this third then by, you'd not want to select length. That could get a little out of hand. But let's go back and itemize every instance again and then take a look at this schedule. So now it's still sorted by family and type and size, and it's also grouped by the size as well, because that's where we added a footer, so we have a separate grouping there. So once again, this is the schedule is still very useful. Now we see every single length parameter here because we have every single conduit listed. But last thing I'll show is let's go back to the sorting grouping tab and let's deselect itemize every instance. And then let's go to the formatting tab and I will select length. And then here in this drop down, I'm going to select calculate totals and then I'll click OK. And now, since we're calculating the totals, now this there is a value in that length column. And that is the total length for that family and type and size of each conduit. So just to summarize, there are various ways to sort and group schedules. And the first thing you want to pay attention to or determine is whether or not you want every single instance to appear in the schedule and then you can dig into how you're going to sort. And then if you add a header or footer, you're going to then be grouping it, uh, create various groupings in your schedule. Howdy, thanks for watching. If you'd like more free content from Click to BIM, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have affordable subscription options at clicktobim.com where you can access all of our videos. We also have an amazing search feature that allows you to search through every single word in all of our videos to help you quickly find the answers to your questions.